sorry. Yeah, hold on. There you go. Hey, YouTube. What's up? This your boy Jersey Raven, and I'm I'm not actually at home. I'm at my lovely auntie's house. Hey. 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 And um, I wanted her to be on the show today because I wanted her feedback about some of the different topics that I love to talk about on the show. Now. Mary, say hey. Say, say to the world. Hey. Say hey. I'm now, I say my show's going to be really ghetto, so you know how we do it. Skippy. Say, say it again. Skippy. <laughs> Damn Skippy. I didn't want to go that route. That's <laughs> Skippy. Damn it. How about Tammy? You coming back? Yeah, we just want to pick up picking. Okay. Now, something I want to ask y'all about today, you two. Guys in the club... That you see, you've been to the club. You used to go to the club, right? Hell yeah, I used to own one, but I didn't own it, but I lived up in there. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, every <laughs> night. Every night. Listen, guys in the club that you walk up to, and they, they look good from a distance, right? Hell yeah. They look good from a distance, but then yeah. when you get up on them, they ain't got no teeth. Look, no, just no. Look, look. look. They got teeth, but one tooth over here, over here, and then another tooth over here. So, what is up with that? If you if you got time to get a new outfit, new pair of shoes, a new fitted, why you can't go get your teeth fixed? Get some false teeth or something. Excuse me. And this is for the people in the club. I'm not talking about older oh, okay. folks. I'm not I, talking about. I'm talking about. Um, you know what? It can really apply to anybody in general. Damn right. Because. Because it, I ain't got no teeth, but I gotta have a roof over my head. And I maintain, and I do partay. She, par me? she partay. And I pay the cost <laughs> to be the daggone boss. Excuse me. Oh my Does God. Does anybody want to come up in here? Uh -huh. After a while, I was, uh, put the daggone, what you call that, my daggone dough, so you can get in a toll booth. A what? Toll booth. I'm gonna have to. You ain't gonna charge me. Hey, no, you come in the back door. I said the front door. Oh. <laughs> the, the back door. <laughs> now this is one of my Look, favorite answers. She makes me, me come through the back door. Well, you got know, excuse me. Excuse me. You know how you know how we can bag that thing up. Oh, you could. Bye bye. Bag that. Excuse me. Excuse me. I said bag that thing up. <laughs> but you too. Like I said, my show is very ghetto, so, you know, this is why I have a show to just talk about normal stuff yes. that happens in life to yes. everybody. Yes. I don't go anywhere, out anywhere, anything, but I have a good time at home with my family and with friends and with whoever, but everything is respectable in all kind of ways. You don't have to be in the club with no teeth, with no money. All you go out there want to sit around and drink on some daggone Kool-Aid that they don't serve. Because when you go to the bathroom, you take a cup with you, you're glad to fill it up with water. And come back and thank you guys for that. Mm -hmm. Sit around trying to get hit on some chicks. Excuse me. Chicks, chicks with dicks. Chick, yeah, chicks with dicks. <laughs> Damn skip look, 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 look. Come out there fucking slaying, and they got nothing to slaying. Look, YouTube, though, seriously, if you're going to go to the club in a brand new outfit and a brand new pair of shoes, please take the time to fix your teeth, too. And please Who's make sure you got a good car to ride in, too. I now, bet you I'm, got a good-ass car to ride I'm in, not, too. I'm uh -huh. not materialistic like that. You know I, I love a man if he walk in. Hello, brother. The teeth, I mean, please. Next tooth a mile, that away. That away. Now... Something else I want to talk to you guys about. And you know people do it because you know I have women that hit on me. You know that. You've oh, seen that. Yes, right? Yes. I mean, they don't know that I'm gay because I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a regular masculine gay dude, so they don't know I'm gay. But they have hit on me. Now, why is it, and, and once I've told them that I'm gay, they still try. Is it because you think because you have a... A pussy cat between your legs that I'm gonna want to pet it and rub it no. and cuddle with it. No, I like dick. Dick likes me. I keep telling y'all that. Women, you cannot change a gay man. No, stop trying. Don't Please. Yes. Well, the dick robber think you just playing them and all that. You got the dad gonna show them and all that to say stop 
Hey, no, party over. And I'm very strictly dicky. Yeah, strictly dickly. <laughs> I am strictly dicky. That's it. I love dick. Dick loves me. Mwah. Shout out to my dick. I ain't got nothing right now, but hey, I ain't hating. Hated it. Hated it. Hated it. Look. Hated it. Two stacks. Two stacks in a row. Oh, hated it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh -uh. But the, I mean, the, think about that though. Women who know that men are gay and still try to hit on them anyway. Why do you do that? Why, like, why, why do you do that? Seriously, why do you do that? I asked the question three times because I want to know. Go to YouTube.com and go to the Jersey Raven Experience. Click on uh, my show. Subscribe while you're there if you like the show. It'll be many, many more shows with my auntie here. Hey. hey. And I, my, my family is crazy. I love them. But women, what's between your legs is not a magic pill. Stop thinking everybody wants it. Because the mere thought of me in a, a boogina makes me sick to me. I don't want a daggone man because I think I'm all damn gay. That's why I don't want to fuck with one. Excuse me. You too. Hey, 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 hey. That's why I was speaking nothing. Celibate. Uh-huh. You celibate? Yep. So you celibate here, you celibate there. I don't fuck, Danny. I, I got virgin ears. I did not hear that. Oh, excuse me. I'm just playing. I didn't say that. On the, it's you can curse on here. Yeah, oh. you can, yeah it's, it's YouTube. It's the world. It's, oh. it's better than cable. Oh. Yeah. All access raw and uncensored. I told you I would bring my show to you raw and uncut. Because that's why I don't mess around with nobody. Because a man is not true. And then half the time a man or whatever it might be gay. And trying to use you to get a dollar so of which I don't have a dollar because I live alone and uh uh I don't want I don't want uh uh but no bag on me uh uh I wanna know what the hell I got to deal with him whole I can but I can spot a winner for him. Oh, so you, you think you have good gaydar? No, you, you, no, no, I you, do. Can you tell a gay no, man from the street? I knew, I knew you, you were you 12 years old. I knew I was gay when I, I was, when I, I was, want, when I was, but yeah, I, yeah, them bananas look really good over there. But they I didn't nice want to take, but too. I didn't want to take, they, they, they nice and long no, too. No, but no, look, no. you uh -huh. knew I was gay probably before I did, but I knew I liked men from the time I, 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 I never had, I never had. And you still love me the same, don't you? Since you were 12 years old. And you still love me the same. Oh, fuck it, yeah, yeah, but I wouldn't have told you that shit to the world. Excuse you, me. Yeah, she's the one that broadcasted all of my business to the whole family. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't going to tell them because I didn't care. I didn't think it was none of their business for me to tell I got tired of it. I got tired of it. Excuse me. I got tired of it. Excuse me. Excuse me. I got tired of it. Now, one more thing before I close out today's show, y'all. This was just a, a, a great show, and I thank my auntie for being up here with me. Would you date a guy or female that had extra nipples, extra fingers, or extra toenails, or extra toes, anything like that? Because I've seen a, lo a lot of people get them cut off when they're young, and it's still like a little nub right there. Would you date somebody that has... I wouldn't give a fat baby's ass that had 10 on one hand as long as I'd have to suck them. Ooh! Suck them. Oh my goodness. Can you suck 10 fingers? Hell no. I said as long as I don't have um, to suck them. Have you sucked fingers before? Hell yeah, baby. That turns a damn man on man down. <laughs> Shit. He came from you sucking his fingers. A man damn did a daggone shit on that sucking it when he in the groove. Mm -hmm. Suck on that daggone fucking finger, boy. That that poor man. Oh. Oh. That, that, that turns a man on. This has been the Raven Jersey Experience, the Jersey Raven Experience. Excuse me. I just came back from the outhouse. I had three apple martinis, so I'm a little. Right now, okay? Excuse me, like my auntie would say. But for those of you out there that would seriously date somebody if they had an extra nipple or an extra toe, shout out to y'all. 
because y'all are special people. I personally, well, hey, I'm not shallow like that. I would date somebody like that. If anybody but, had an extra damn nipple and shit, y'all, that hell, that more, more. Put 